morning. This is Adam Smith with the Colorado Real Estate Finance Group on Tuesday, January 17th. Yes, I know we're a day behind here, but better late than never. And of course, I'm here with your weekly zero cost marketing and contact management tip. Remember, if you'd like more information about the classes I teach on contact management, zero cost marketing, social media marketing, video blogging, don't hesitate to contact me or have your managing broker or title rep do that as that seems to be how most of those classes are arranged. It's great information for anyone who has a direct-to-consumer relationship like realtors, mortgage brokers, insurance agents, financial planners, and so on, and I'm always happy to share the information, so don't hesitate. All right, let's talk about this week's tip, and this week's tip really surfaced as more of a folly than anything else, but I want to talk about this contact cycle. Now, those of you that have taken the classes or been in our mentoring program or have watched these videos for years now know how the rest of that shapes, how we gain contacts, how we put them into a contact management system, how we actually do stay top of mind, that kind of thing. And I have found myself as of late letting that cycle extend out too long. And it's just a matter of there being so many contacts and so little time. Uh, there are only so many hours in the day. But I think that my cycle, which is probably 100 days or so, is too long. We're probably talking about where that only enables you to touch somebody. <laughs> I didn't mean it quite like that. Enables you to reach out to somebody three, four times a year. And I really think it should be five or six. And why I think that's the case is that I would be willing to bet that at least once a week, I'm coming across somebody who says something like, oh, we just bought a house last month, or we just refinanced two weeks ago, or whatever the case may be. Um, I do hear a lot of, oh, we couldn't find your number. And of course, no blame there. Yes, you could Google me and uh, it'd be easy to find. But nonetheless, we're getting quite a bit of that, where it's obvious that our cycle has gotten too long. So we're going to shorten that up, ramp that up. This is all part of stuff that goes into the uh, class material and into the mentoring program material that uh, your cycle should only be so long. You should have a certain number of touches each year, so on and so forth, that you've got to weed out unproductive contacts, those kinds of things, so that you can stay focused on the people that uh, either do use you or refer business to you, that kind of thing. So that's this week's tip really is to pay close attention to what your contact cycle is. How many times are you reaching out to these people each year? Um, don't get me wrong, I see where I've got email drip campaigns coming in on a weekly basis or even on a bi-monthly basis and I think it's too often and those of you that are doing campaigns like that obviously see what kind of return, what kind of click through, what kind of read versus deleted results you're getting or at least I hope you're tracking that kind of data to decide whether or not you're getting an ROI on those kinds of campaigns. But for what we're talking about here with our zero cost contact management system, I really think five, six touches a year is adequate. Anything less than that, and you're gonna run into these kind of results that I'm now finding where I'm actually talking to people who would have used my services, who would have used your services in that time frame, but the cycle was too long, they hadn't heard from you, so on and so forth. All right, so that's this week's tip. Let's talk about this week's drawing. And before I forget, let's mention last week's winner, Julie Evans in Washington. Julie, thank you for watching. You probably already have your uh, prize in hand. And if you want to be this week's winner, be the next person to make some kind of action wherever you're finding this video. If you're getting it on social media, that's great. If it's on Facebook, give us a like, give us a share. If you are catching this on Twitter, uh, give us a, a, a favorite, retweet. Uh, if you're catching it on LinkedIn, fantastic. If you're on the email subscription, feel free to just reply. 
If you are a YouTube subscriber, please make a comment. If you are not, please do become one. And the next one of you to do any of that, or anything else for that matter, if you want to call me, if you want to text me, whatever's easiest for you. That's another lesson, by the way, we talk about proper communication techniques with uh, what's easiest for your client. But in any case, any kind of action, if you're the next one to do it, you'll be this week's winner. All right, so remember this week's tip, pay close attention to your contact cycle. Remember, make some kind of action to win this week's drawing. Have an amazing week, and we'll see you next time. Bye.